Hi friends, Paisley and Glue here, and I'm kind of between projects. I'm gonna start draping something later today, so I thought I would show you my sewing studio while it's clean, which almost never happens. The fact that there's nothing on here is fairly remarkable. So let's go through the room, and I'll show you kind of how I organize things and the supplies that I keep on hand, and maybe give you some ideas about how you'd like to set up your space. Okay, so let's turn to this corner. First of all, this is my sort of little cozy corner. So um, most of the furniture in this room are hand-me-downs. This is one of my favorite things. I like to curl up on this chair and do hand sewing while I'm watching movies or listening to music or podcasts. Um, it can get pretty cold up here. This is the second floor of our house. So I'll curl up in this chair and do some hand work or do some pinning. And um, it's sort of a nice, place to be as opposed to sitting on a hard chair. So here's my trusty dress form. Um, I'm gonna start this project today, so I had to take my Winnie skirt off. She's been living here. So she's on the dress the dress rack here where things in progress and mock-ups live generally. I also have, um, I like using like clothes hampers, which you can usually find pretty inexpensively at like Home Goods or where did this come from? Target last week. And this is keeping all of my fabric rolls and paper rolls organized because if they're not in a basket, they'll like slide off and roll across the room. We don't want that. Um, so I like, I have a couple things like this around the room that are handy to organize things with. Um, giant mirror, which was over our fireplace when we moved in, which was, shall we say, not our aesthetic. So we moved it up here because it's great to have a big full length mirror where you can see things either on your dress form or on you as you're trying things on. Um, I also keep all of my patterns in progress on sort of pinned onto the end of this wire shelf. And I've also in the past hung them on hangers and hung them on the clothing rack, kind of wherever you can put them that are somewhat out of the way. I tend to make really giant paper patterns. And then where do you put those? So this is my not my favorite solution, but they're here for now. Um, here, this is all of my fabric scraps. So I do try to keep scraps that are too small to use again, but I'll use them to make fabric cabbage later to stuff things. Or um, I'm still kind of on the hunt for a really good fabric recycling program. There's not really any around in the Midwest that will take a variety of fabrics. Usually they want you to do either like natural fabrics only or they need it to be a certain size and if it's a certain size then I can use it so why would I do that anyway I do keep them still on the hunt um, this is where the majority of my craft supplies live so one of the things when we moved into this space was I used to have sort of a crazy conglomeration of boxes that were all different sizes and colors and some were clear and some had patterns and that I'd collected over the years. And it was like, when you have an open shelving unit like this, to have boxes that all are the same and stack cleanly is really important. So even though it was a investment to get all the boxes that were the same, it was important for me, especially because I'm in this space so much to have something that even though there's a lot of stuff on here, they look cohesive and it's a life's a little bit less cluttered visually for both my eye and when I'm filming stuff. Um, so I've got some bigger boxes that all match and then I've got some smaller boxes that all match. So we've got a variety of stuff here. I've got all my paints here, brushes, jewelry supplies, um, wig stuff. Did I say paints already? Yes, yeah, sculpting things, stamps, leather supplies. Now I have a box for that. And then down on the bottom are like, um, like uh, crap, like foam, foam clay. That's what I'm looking for. Foam clay and um, various other sort of silicone molds and things like that. I kind of stash at the bottom. Um, so here's where I keep all of that stuff. And then I've got a bunch of other sort of crafty sorts of supplies. So I keep some foam scraps over here in drawers. They don't all fit in here. I have another space for those. And then some kind of tools that I use at this craft table, I keep on hand so I don't have to get up and move too far. So again, same thing over here. 
rhinestone setters, a small heat gun, my glue gun and things and, and glue sticks are in here, general glue, clamps, pliers, and then um, I keep my trims over here too. And then here's a separate section of that I was saying how I keep um, upright things. So I've got another laundry basket here that has warbla and PVC pipe and other sorts of like long pieces of wood and things like that that are kind of hard to store otherwise. And then here is my craft table. Um, this was a our dining room table for a really long time. It was a hand-me-down. It's really, it's a solid piece of wood. It's super duper heavy. So when we got a new dining room table, I knew I wanted to use this as the craft table. I wish it was like slightly bigger. It's like 36 inches across. And I wish it was 44 or 45. So I could put like a full width of fabric on it. And I wish it came out like this much further. But it's great and I love it. Um, we did use these, uh, these are closet made brand and that they were the right height. I looked at Ikea, they weren't the right height for what I was trying to do. So these actually were the perfect size. So it's a set of three by three and then another set of three by four that I believe is on its side. And then I have another set of one by three in this corner over here so that I can roll my chair into it. So you can see that. So it's a little hard to stand on the other side because I don't have a place for like my knees to go. So I can sit on this side, but I can stand all around it. Um, so this is a great solution to maximize the storage space underneath the table. And then I have most of my fabric is in these bins. So they're organized by color slash type. So like general color, but then when I get to like creams and blacks and browns of which I have a lot, then I sort of start to break those down into um, some different organizational things. Um, the cats also love to scratch these, so they don't look as nice as they used to when I first did this. Then we get into the sewing machine area. This sometimes is on my table as kind of the like catch-all tools that I need sometimes for sewing and sometimes for being here and doing craft stuff. So I've got all the uh, um, pencils, markers, all my scissors, some rotary cutters and blades, tape. And then I always have some sort of bin of safety pins handy because I use those constantly. And usually there's like a straight pin pad over here too. Then sewing machine land. So I've got my serger here. I keep the, um, I try to keep the covers on my sewing machines because my cats eat thread and it's real dumb. So I have to keep all my thread and things covered up. This is my main sewing machine that I use. This is my Bernina here. Um, and stays out on this table. This, But this is um, one of those folding craft sewing tables. So when we lived in an apartment, this was really great because you can put the machine underneath the table and then fold it up. This, this part folds up and then this swings in. So if you're looking for them, they're called like craft tables or sewing tables. They're not that expensive. Um, and now I can keep it open all the time, but if I needed to fold it away, it kind of turned into like a little buffet or like cabinet looking thing. And it was, you know, fairly attractive. Um, so this is sort of where I generally work. I do keep my projects in progress in bins like this. You can also use shoe boxes or something with a top if you wanna be able to close something away. And these are great to just to keep all of your things together. So notions, pattern pieces, fabric, um, that's great. And then I also have a little bit of a hidey hole here, the way this swings open and I have a sort of a backup sewing machine stashed under there and then also this is another of those folding craft tables it's just an older model that um, I use for my serger here I keep muslin scraps for draping or mock-ups and also felt and batting for padding out dress forms if I'm going to be draping so I keep those on hand and then um, 
this is sort of a new acquisition for filming while I'm sewing. It's fine. It's kind of like a weird angle, so it's a little bit hard to get in there. Um, and I often end up doing things off camera, which is annoying, but we're working on it. Um, again, with like little bins to hold all of your notions and bits so they don't get scattered around. They do anyway, but it's good to have. Um, so I keep snips in here, fray block, extra machine feet, seam gauges, all those little things that you accumulate and need close at hand while you're sewing. And then I've got another little bin to hold my, um, my bobbins. Here we have uh, various drawers for scissors, pins, boning, tracing papers down here, zippers, elastic Velcro. So those are kind of all close at hand. The tea station, critical. And then uh, here's my Juki machine, which is also relatively new to me and I love it. Great machine. So that's sort of sewing area. Then we've got this uh, shelving unit where I've got all my patterns are up top. I have a fair amount of uh, vintage patterns and then all the commercial patterns that I've collected. Um, patterns I make myself are usually much larger and won't fit in small envelopes. So those are stashed away in a cabinet. And uh, here are some more notions. This is where all the closures live. So I've got buttons organized by um, color and snaps, hook and, hooks and eyes, buckles, clips, grommets, all those sorts of things live here. And I've got a little bit extra space here for um, expansion in the future, which is nice. And then all of the tools that I need for my ironing station. Um, I'd love in the future to get a larger ironing table, sort of build one maybe that like flips up or something. If you do a lot of sewing, you know that sometimes you have large pieces of fabric you need to iron and this just does not cut it, but that's for future me. Uh, sewing tools though, press cloths, clappers, um, water spritzers, all this stuff is important. Taylor's ham, critical. And then I've got interfacings of various types, batting, polyfill, and then um, distilled water, which if you're not putting distilled water in your iron, you absolutely should. The minerals that are in normal tap wire water usually build up inside the iron and it'll make it last a lot less long. And distilled water is super cheap. Pick a couple bottles up when you go to the grocery store, really easy. Um, moving on, again, upright storage. So this is all my craft foam that are big enough pieces to roll foam dowels, buckram. And then in this big bin, I've got all the scraps because we all accumulate a lot of foam scraps. And I try to use them because they're so bad for the environment when you throw them away to, um, I try to use the scraps into as tiny pieces as possible before I throw those pieces away. Then we have our, um, the weapons wall is something that I did this um this year which is fun i made most of these not this but i did make this one um so it's just kind of fun to put some of your projects up and on display and then my reference library so most of these are costume history books that i accumulated during school um i still reference them a lot i've been looking at a bunch of things for winnie which has been fun and then I've got a lot of craft related items here too. So like origami, felting, embroidery, hat making, and then a lot of patterning and drafting books as well that I reference all the time. And sewing books, kind of general guides to sewing, which is good. Sometimes you need a reminder of how to put in a zipper. Then this is what I used to keep projects organized that are sort of long term. So it's nice to have a little area where you can put things away, sort of similar to the using the bins by your sewing area for current projects. So all my Winnie pieces are in here, trims and things, my shoes are here, 
This is the commission that I'm starting next. So I've got all the notions and fabrics that I've accumulated for that put in here. And then here's a upholstery project I'm also working on. So it just kind of keeps things away. You're less likely to lose things. Um, if you have the space, highly recommend that. So you're not looking for that zipper that you bought three months ago for a project. Um, my Mr. Man dress form. It's great to have one with legs. Um, I'd like to get a female one with legs, but for the future. This is sort of just enough space for me to lay out wider pieces of fabric to cut on the floor if I need to. Like I said, my craft table is not quite wide enough to cut fabric on that are larger pieces. So I do end up laying things out on the floor. Um, so I try to keep this space open for that. I thought about putting the table in the middle and it would have been fine, but I would have lost that option to sort of have a big space. And I can also see myself in that big mirror from here. So if I need to get like a wider or um, more distance in my view, then that is helpful to have this sort of length of the room open. Um, this is a new thing that I just came up with that I had these backdrops for taking photos and I didn't I never used them because the frame was a pain in the butt to, to set up and then they were really wrinkled because they were folded. Um, so this was kind of a proof of concept thing that I just did, which is I put the backdrops on a piece of PVC and then put that on a um, curtain rod that is sort of permanently, it's not one of the curtain rods that go into a hook, like it's bolted to the wall on both sides so that I can just kind of pull these down. And the idea is that the, the fabric's not as wrinkled. I don't know about that yet, but um, at least they're kind of up and maybe I'm more likely to use them. Though getting them rolled up, it's a little bit of a, it's not a high tech solution, but it works for me. In this case, the slanty walls, which are normally kind of weird in here, actually help because it, when it comes down, it clears these, this table, which is nice. Then the other thing I did, again with another curtain rod that I had laying around, was I put it above my table here so that I could shoot straight down onto my table because like a lot of people who try to film their work table, it's a super annoying to try to get that down shot with a tripod because you're always sort of at an angle or like not able to get the whole table, it's horrible. So the idea with this is that then I can, I can shift this. I'm not really tall enough to reach. I can shift this where I want it to be on the table in order to get that down shot. So haven't really had an opportunity to do that yet, but I am excited about that project. And then in the hallway here, I have this great closet that I have commandeered for cosplay related things. So. That's not super greatly organized, um, but I've kind of got Wonder Woman's kind of always in a bag ready to go because I wear her a lot for charity stuff, but I've got like a shoe rack here. And then this is sort of overflow leather and faux fur. I have a lot of that, so I have to keep those in kind of big bins. But then I've got all my costumes are hung up here on this rack, along with more stuff on the floor. Um, but it's nice to have this space that I can kind of put things away and not have to look at it too much um, unless I need something specific. So that's kind of my space. Uh, it's a really great space. I'm super blessed to have it. And um, I'll try to link some of the things that I pointed out in the description if you're interested. And uh, if you have any questions about anything, about where to get something or what something was or what it's called, let me know, I'll be happy to answer it. And I hope this helps you kind of brainstorm how you'd like to set up your own space. See you next time.